In this video, I'm going to be talking about a very simple thing, very simple idea. It's not going to be a long video, but it's very important. If you want to be a better communicator, you want to expand your network and you want people to remember you, make sure that you remember them. What do I mean by that? Dale Carnegie, in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, emphasized an idea that the most valuable word for every person is their own name. When you remember people's names, if you had an encounter with somebody and you remember their name and you meet them one month later and you still remember their name, you call them by their first name, automatically they're gonna be like, wow, I had a conversation with this guy or this girl a month ago for one minute and they still remember my name, that means that they actually care. I know I, I talk about People noticing or knowing that you care, that you're interested in them a lot, it's because this is the way to build rapport. You build rapport with somebody when you see that they're actually interested about you, they care about you, and you guys have a lot in common, or at least you have some things in common. Because if you can't build rapport, if you cannot build rapport with people, it's going to be really hard for you to expand your network and build a network and communicate with others. Um, if you want to even take it a step further, remember their birthdays. You don't even have to remember it top of your head and have a list. Go on Facebook. You can make it, make it a habit that every day in the morning, for one minute, only for one minute, you go on Facebook and you see whose birthday is it today. And don't just post on their wall, send them a private message. Say, hey, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. People are going to appreciate it. People are not going to forget it, especially if somebody was having a really bad birthday where nobody remembered it, and then this one person who they met a while back remembered it, said, hey, John, I just wanted to say happy birthday, enjoy it, have a great day. If you just send a message, say, hey, John, uh, I see that it's your birthday, uh, I just wanted to wish you, wish you a happy birthday, and, and I hope you have a good one. People are going to appreciate it. Remember their names, remember their birthdays, because these are the two most important things for people. The most important word is their name, so make sure you always remember that. And a good way to remember it is to, to tie the name to something personal about that person. If you see somebody who's really tall and their name is, is Brian, then you can remember in your mind you make this link. that This really tall person I met once, his name is Brian. And repeat it to yourself, this tall person I met once, his name is Brian. There's a lot of people in, in, in U.S. political history and presidential history, a lot of presidents like, Johnny, like John F. Kennedy, who basically put in the effort to really remember people's names so hard. And that's, what gave, and that's what gave some of these people a big competitive advantage during presidential campaigns. So make sure that you remember people's name because it's, it's the most valuable word for them. And second, remember their birthday when you can. If you, if you can't, just go on Facebook because this is the most important or the most significant date for them too. All right, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you do use these methods and I'll see you in the next video.